Four single women in their 30s and 40s are choosing to become mothers on their own. Eileen Park reports. Perhaps it's a sign of the times. I just wasn't finding the right guy. Successful women like Stephanie Barber and Summer Hibbert refusing to settle. What I didn't want to happen was I wait till 40, meet the man of my dreams, and I go to get pregnant, and I can't get pregnant. Barber is a pharmacist at Providence and decided she no longer wanted to wait for the right man. That decision, though, wasn't easy. I had a lot of fear and about like what society would say because of the single mom stigma that's out there. Fear wasn't enough to stop her. And five months ago, she gave birth to Donovan Jacques Barber. Look into your eyes and smile at you. Thanks to intraurine insemination. Oh my God. <laughs> they take like frozen sperm and then they put it in your uterus. <laughs> oh no, are we ignoring you too much? Barber says she doesn't feel alone. She's surrounded by a generation of strong women who are becoming single mothers by choice. I think this is like the best decision I've ever made in my life. Summer Hibbard knew it wasn't going to be easy, so she chose a sperm donor and froze her eggs a few years ago. Now at 38, she's going through in vitro fertilization. I got pregnant last October, it was my first round of IVF, and I was very excited and had a due date June 23rd, and um, it didn't work out. I miscarried at uh, nine and a half weeks, much to my surprise. The disappointment isn't stopping her. It's that kind of determination that's setting these women apart. And I think the data supports that more women are choosing to have children alone by choice. Dr. Paula Amato at OHSU says that's because many women these days are more independent financially and socially. One has become more acceptable in society and two, marriage rates have gone down. This idea of needing a partner to start a family. I don't want to settle just for whatever comes by just to make this work. Is no longer something they're willing to sacrifice for. Does that cut down on the number of potential partners? Yes, it does. And that's life. In Portland, Eileen Park, Coin 6 News.